Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing various ways to remove bacteria from your kitchen sponge. I've had many viewers ask me, what's the best way to remove bacteria from a kitchen sponge? Those viewers are... Personally, I just throw away a sponge once it gets old. But today I'm going to test a couple different methods to see is there a way to remove bacteria from your kitchen sponge. I'm going to test four methods of removing bacteria from a kitchen sponge. I'm going to test microwaving for one minute, putting it in the dishwasher, having it soak in vinegar for five minutes, and just washing it with dish soap in the sink. So in order to test how well these methods remove bacteria from a kitchen sponge, I need to make sure that there is a lot of bacteria on these sponges. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that my kitchen sink, especially the kitchen sink drain, usually has an awful lot of bacteria. So what I'm going to do is take some brand new sponges and I'm going to wipe them around my kitchen sink, especially in that kitchen sink drain, to get a lot of bacteria on my sponge. Then what I'm going to do is take a petri dish, just like this guy here, and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab the sponge after I wipe it on my kitchen sink drain. And that sample I'm going to put in the section labeled B for before. That way I can see how much bacteria do I even have on my sponge before attempting to remove the bacteria from it. Then I will clean the sponges according to one of those methods, either microwaving it, putting it in the dishwasher, soaking in vinegar, or just rinsing it with dish soap in my sink. Afterwards, I'll swab them again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's gonna go there. So let's see which method, microwaving, using the dishwasher, soaking in vinegar, or just cleaning it with palm olive dish soap, removes the most bacteria from my kitchen sponge.
Now for some results. Let's see how well microwaving removes bacteria from the sponge. In the before section, we can see a ton of bacteria. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. When you wipe the kitchen sink drain, I usually get an awful lot of bacteria on my peachy dishes. This is great. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There is still a lot of bacteria on the sponge, but there is a visible decrease. So microwaving for one minute does an okay job at removing bacteria from the sponge. The dishwasher. In the before section, again, we have a tremendous amount of bacteria, which is fantastic. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There are some larger colonies and a lot of tiny colonies. I started to count them, but there are actually too many to count. So dishwashing does an okay job at removing bacteria from my sponge. Soaking in vinegar. In the before section, we have a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we're seeing a visible decrease in bacteria. Still a lot of bacteria hanging around, but there is a visible decrease. So soaking in vinegar does an okay job at removing bacteria from the sponge. Rinsing with palm olive dish soap. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight decrease in bacteria. Yes, we can see a visible decrease, but it is not profound at all. Rinsing with the palm olive dish soap doesn't really do a great job at all at removing the bacteria from the kitchen sponge. So after looking at these results, I thought of two things. One, I really did have a tremendous amount of bacteria on the sponge by wiping it in my kitchen sink drain. And I thought to myself, how many people are actually like scrubbing the inside of their drain to get bacteria on their sponge? I think the answer is not many. So I decided to run a second test. This time what I did was I took the sponge and I wiped it all over my kitchen sink and in the drain to get a lot of bacteria on it. Then I rinsed it using the palm olive dish soap. So I figured people are using their sponge, they're getting cleaners on it, they're getting dish soap on it, they're washing their dishes with it, so I felt that was a better representation of what a before section really would be. So the before section of these next peachy dishes is after rubbing it in my kitchen drain and after rinsing it with palm olive dish soap in my sink. That's the before. The after will be microwaving, dishwasher, and soaking in vinegar. Let's look at microwaving. So in the before section, there still is a lot of bacteria. In the after section, there is a visible decrease in bacteria. We still have about two dozen small bacterial colonies in the after section, but there is a decrease in bacteria. So rinsing with dish soap and then microwaving it does a pretty good job at removing bacteria from the kitchen sponge. The dishwasher. So the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. In the after section, I counted three tiny bacterial colonies. So rinsing the sponge with dish soap, then placing it in the dishwasher, did an excellent job at removing bacteria from the kitchen sponge. Soaking in vinegar. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, I counted again, three tiny bacterial colonies. So rinsing a sponge with dish soap, then soaking it in vinegar for five minutes did an excellent job at removing bacteria from the kitchen sponge. So if you're looking for a method to remove a lot of bacteria from a kitchen sponge, I would suggest rinsing it in dish soap first, then either placing it in the dishwasher or placing it in vinegar for five minutes. This was a fun test to conduct. It's different from my other videos. Normally what I do is I'll take a product and I'll test before and after using a particular product, whether it be Clorox wipes or seventh generation wipes or method spray to see how well a product removes bacteria. This was different, but I really enjoyed conducting these tests. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know to check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.